Majestic as it spins, revolves, and hurtles around the sun and through the stars. Some may love it, some may hate it, but all in all, it inspires awe in all who gaze upon its majestic beauty. If life here on Earth could be described as only one thing, it would have to be as a mass of contradictions. Save the unborn whales! Save the unborn whales, please! Please take a flyer, save the unborn mm. whales! Please, concern Ooh. yourself, save the unborn whales! Please, save the unborn whales! Boom! Ow! 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 Oh, I'm oh. so sorry! Oh, watch where you're going, you bloody wanker! You could kill a bloke like that! Oh, sorry, I was just, uh... Oh, 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 look at that! Look at that! I got blood on me jacket! Blood! And it's me own blood! Oh, that's a change, isn't it? You got me bleeding me own blood! You turned me bloody jacket into a bloody jacket! I'm gonna use me switchblade and cut off your wanker, you wanker! Oh, get lost, you fiend! What? Stop hurting this defenseless little man! Listen, bird, this is between me and him. This ain't none of your... 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 beautiful. Oh. You just go pick on someone your own size, you big bully! Well, I, uh... Well, um, you just tell your little boyfriend there that he got awful lucky now. He got awful lucky, in he? Hey, nerd face. You and me, three o'clock behind the school. Your boyfriend there is in a lot of trouble, lady girl, chicky poo. He's not my boyfriend. Oh, he's not? Oh, w would you like to go out sometime? With you? Yes, with me. No. No? Yes. No, huh? Yeah, all right. Well, fuck you then. Well, would you go out with me? With you? Yeah. Well, I... Uh, I don't know. I... I don't even know you. Herbert Kaboingel. Hmm. Don't you know me? Don't you know me? Don't you know me? What you want me to be when I set myself free? I'm more than you see. I'm an anonymous celebrity. I don't know you, I haven't a clue, I never saw you before, you pass through the door, your name and face mean nothing to me. Who you are, I don't give a fuck, with my knife, you're gonna get stuck, I'm gonna cut off your wee wee. I wish you could see under my shell. I think that you would find someone pretty swell. Your love might hold the key. Well, all I want 
is someone pure at heart. Together we could make a brand new start. He'll fit me to a T. Well, all I need is rock and roll, a banging guitar, and a smoking bowl, and beer. Well, don't you know me what you want me to be when I set myself free? I'm more than you see, I'm an anonymous celebrity. Right, fuck you both. Oh, 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 you poor dear. Oh, are you all right? Um, the only thing hurting is my pride. Oh, that's a good thing because pride is a sin. Oh, well, um, well, thank you. Thank you for uh, saving me from that man. That man? Oh, he's almost not a man. He's more like a man monster. Oh, that awful, awful creature. Oh, well, uh, th thanks for saving me anyway. Oh, it was nothing at all. Jesus taught us to help the weakest among us. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well. Do you? Do I what? Have a boyfriend? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I do. Oh. He lives in the sky. And he watches us all the time. You do? He does? Yes. And yes. In fact, I'm going to his house right now. Oh. Huh. Okay. Well, well, I should probably let you go. Uh, he's probably wondering where you are. Huh. You know, as horrible as that man was, I feel sorry for him. Maybe I should visit him. Visit him? Why? Well, perhaps he could be persuaded to change his evil ways. Maybe nobody's tried to love him before. But, 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 but you just said he was an animal. A monster. But, Herbert, what would Jesus do? Jesus would, 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 would what, want us what? to show him kindness and forgiveness. But, 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 you did he likes you. Oh, don't be If silly. you go to him, all he's going to try to do is make you his girlfriend. Well, that won't happen. I mean, sure, he's a bad boy and a little bit dangerous. And that's a little bit... Um, Exciting? Well, I was going to say intriguing. Yeah. The next time I see you, you'll be his. Oh, don't be silly. But what if, well, just suppose that you were actually meant to be with me. Ah, you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. You don't know me, and you don't know him. <laughs> I've seen enough of him to know. I can see that he's not the right guy for you. I know. You want me to say it I again? Know. I'll say it again. But I can see that he's not the right guy for you. I can see. You can see. 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 I can see that he's not the right guy for me. Oh. 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 I can see that he's not the right guy for me. 
My heart's gonna flutter right out of my chest. The best man who won wasn't really the best. You look and you'll see the finds that you find. The winner takes all and I'll take what is mine. Cause I'm not well known for saving the day. Much more like alone and slinking away from women and villains and bullies who taunt. But this type of girl is the one that I want. Cause I can't stop what's in my heart I can't stop what's in my heart love will make you glad won't be so won't make you mad, won't break you, love will make you glad, won't be so bad, won't make you mad, won't I can see that I'm not the right guy for you. No. No. I can see that I'm not the right guy for you. I can't stop what's in in my heart to be with you. Oh, well, mm. I, I guess I better be off to class. Oh, okay. Mm. Bye. See ya. Professor? Ah, ah, uh, I, uh, uh, Professor, uh, what are you doing here? Well, uh, uh, what, uh, what are you doing here? It's time for class. Ah, oh, We're all waiting uh, for you outside. Uh, fine. Uh, uh, I'll be along in a moment. Um. Oh. What? The broadcast! The, the broadcast! It stopped! What? The communicator! He ceased the transmission of the broadcast! That can't be! We must find the communicator! Yeah! The communicator! We 
we have a little surprise for him. Mail call! Hey, you fox! Get the fuck up! Come on! We got to Danny? rehearse! Is that you? Of course it's me! Who the hell did you think it was? Oh, dude, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what are you doing here so early in the morning? We're all still asleep. I mean, look, the sun's just coming up. What? The sun's going down! It's 6.30 in the evening, mate! Uh, it is? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> we didn't get to bed last night until noon. Huh? Come on in. <sighs> hey, Cletus! It's time to get up! Blokes are daft! Why don't you open the post? The what? The, the, the post! The post! The, the what? What's, the mail! Why don't you open your mayo? The mayo that affects the band affects the whole band. And that includes all of us. So I expect that you should want to give some attention to an envelope that's from the World Vision Television Network. What's World Vision? <gasps> World Vision? World Vision is only the largest media conglomerate in the Northern Hemisphere. Reaching over two and a half billion peoples all over this vast media network. We appreciate the, the generous support of World Vision. And we think that there are tremendous educational opportunities with all the advanced communication technology here at the World Vision World Headquarters. We are also quite fortunate that it is located so close to our college campus, yeah? Mm -hmm. These dishes, they send up information to the satellites, and the satellites reflect the information back down and around the world. Professor? Yes, Jamie. Those dishes must send a lot of information over an exponentially wide area just to hit what is a comparatively small receiver. I mean, that is the satellite. Yes? So, where does that rest of the information go? Ah, that's a very good question. It just goes out into the universe. Whoosh! Who knows what creatures are out there watching our televisions, listening to our radios, or surfing on our internet? Okay, let's continue our tour of the magnificent headquarters of Vuelo Vision. I mean, you're telling me that you guys have never heard of World Vision. World Vision is the biggest TV network in the world. World Vision is the TV network that worked with the soft drink company that had the bottle cap that had the code. The code? What code? The code for the contest. 
The contest? What contest? The contest that led to this letter in this envelope which you blokes were too lazy to open and read. The letter that tells us that our punk rock band, The Hateful Lovers, has won a chance to compete in the world's biggest televised battle of the bands. You mean? That's right. It's the world battle of the world bands. And we've been selected to represent punk rock music. Come on, guys, let's do it! Yeah! Let's rehearse! One, two, one, two, three, four! They're just practicing their so-called music again. Let's face it, this bust is a bust. These kids don't have what we're looking for. They're not smart enough. I think we should just go back to the FBI field office, file a report, close this case, and go home for the night. I think you're right. What is that? Aliens. From where? From outer space. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're trapped. You were right. It is aliens. Silence! We are the aliens! Where is the communicator? We demand a resumption of the broadcast! What broadcast? What are you talking about? What is this communicator that you see? The communicator is not a what? The communicator is a who? Well then... Who is the communicator? The communicator is the one that transmits the broadcast. And what is the broadcast? The broadcast is the transmission from the communicator. We are not following you. Can you explain this to us in more detail? All right, listen. Earth is the only source for punk rock music in the entire universe, and we really like it. It is awesome! Someone down on your planet has been transmitting us punk rock music in a frequency that we can hear in exchange for help in developing a way to transmit energy through the air. Transmit energy through the air? That's impossible. So who's been broadcasting you this music? Um... Well, you see, um, that's just it. We don't really know. We had it written down, and we lost Somewhere it. Somewhere around Orion. It's a long, funny-sounding name. It's like Herfenferfer, or... Furfenherfer, or something like that. We could never pronounce it. Your Earth languages suck. Suck alien balls. Be that as it may, we demand that you find the communicator and resume the broadcast. Furthermore, if you do not return the communicator by September 19th, we will destroy your planet. But why? If you destroy the Earth, you'll destroy your only source for punk rock music. Hey, 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 hey. He's right. It doesn't make any whoa, sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone there, Mabel. Don't question the alien's logic. Right. If you're going to learn one thing, Earth people... Don't question the alien's logic. We are way smarter than you. Way, 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 way smarter. About a trillion.
million times smarter. When civilizations develop, they go through five stages. Yeah, there's the first stage where you're all mucking around in the mud and hitting each other. Right. Yeah, and then there's the second stage where you're still mucking around in the mud, but now you're wearing watches. And you're still hitting each other, but this time you're doing it with rulers. Yeah, and then there's the third stage. That's the stage you're at now. The third stage is when you're figuring out how to make your machines fly and learning how to libel each other in the press. Okay... And then there's the fourth stage, where you've conquered death, mastered anti-gravity, and achieved faster than light travel. And then there's the fifth stage, which is so far advanced that we can't even describe the summary of it to you without resorting to flashing lights, discordant sounds, and interpretive dance. Oh yeah, go ahead and try me. What? Yeah, say what? Go on, describe it for me. Hey, buddy, you don't even want to go there. Oh, sure I do. No, you don't. Even a simple description of the fifth level of civilization would be on a level that your primitive level three civilization couldn't even possibly begin to possibly comprehend. So why should we even waste our time? Ah, uh, you're just chicken. Chicken? What you say? Chicken. Alien chicken or earth chicken? Earth chicken. That does it. Your ass is grass, buddy. Okay, earth boy. You asked for it. Oh, one, oh, one, oh. Oh, one, oh, one. Oh, one, oh, one, oh. Oh, oh, one, oh, one. One, one, oh. Oh, oh, one. One, one, oh, 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 one. One, oh, oh, one. Oh, 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 one, one, one. Oh, one, oh, one, one. One, one, oh. One, 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 oh. Oh, baby. Everybody. Oh one oh one oh oh one oh one oh one oh one oh 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 one oh one 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 oh 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 one There you go, Earth Man. I hope that you it. Yeah, I bet that made everything crystal clear to you, didn't it? Yeah, I bet you have no questions after that one, right? Yeah. Oh, and those um stages of civilization that I was talking about? Yeah. We're on stage six. So suck on that. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for being here. My partner and I were just abducted by aliens. The aliens want us to locate the person that has been transmitting punk rock music to their planet. They call this person that has been transmitting this music the communicator. The only clue that we have to the identity of this communicator is that he has a long name that's hard for aliens to pronounce. Like 
herfen furfer or furfen herfer or words similar to that effect. And another thing, if we don't find this communicator by September 19th, they're going to destroy the world. Now tell me, why would they want to destroy the world? And why by September 19th? Don't, Don't question, question the, the alien's logic. What we need to do now is find out exactly who has been transmitting this music to the aliens. We should check the local television and radio stations. We should start with the biggest ones first. Like World Vision? Exactly. But we also have to figure out who this communicator could be. It has to be someone who has detailed technical knowledge of advanced communications equipment. Someone... Smart? Yep. Like a... Professor? Yep. Like a... College professor? Yep. Just like a professor... At State College. A State College professor who has extensive knowledge of and a demonstrated affinity for music. Punk rock music in particular. Someone like Dr. Emil P. Florden Horder, State College's professor of advanced communications and punk rock music appreciation Emeritus? Exactly. Herfin Furfer, Furfin Herfer, Florden Hoarder. Now it all makes sense. Good work, gentlemen. I suggest we investigate this Dr. Florden Hoarder immediately and what possible connection he may have to this case. I agree. Wow. Look at this fucking place. It's, it's like a fucking wonderland of glass and metal and furniture and shit. Wow! Hello there, my name is Ryan and I'm the producer of the World Battle of the World Bands here on the World Vision Television Networks. What up, mate? Nice to meet you. Hi. Are you guys really prepared to do this? I want you to know what you may be in for. Ain't no bleeding skin off me, bum, either way. I'll be honest with you, fellas. It's not going to be easy. In today's world of disposable entertainment, anyone at all can be plucked from obscurity, dipped into infamy, and discarded by history, all in the span of a single news cycle. But the question still remains. Can you handle it? I can handle any fucking thing you throw at me, mate. Good. Great. Well, we're all set then. Welcome to the world battle of the world bands, hateful lovers. <laughs> all awesome. right. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll do our yeah, best. Absolutely. Really awesome. All right. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay. Here... We're going to do some one-on-one -on -one interviews with you so that we can edit segments of it into the program. Okay? Can you uh, tell us your name and a little bit about yourself, please? Right, right, okay. Um, well, I'm Danny Ramone, and I'm a punk rocker. Yeah, people call me Danny Ramone Punk Rocker. It says it right here, right here on my business card. Danny Ramon, punk rocker. If you want some rocks punked, call Danny Ramon. When I fill out me income tax and it asks you what, on the form, what your profession is, you know, I write punk rocker. That's right, I'm punk rock all the way, baby, yeah. I'm punk rock. All day, all night, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 364 days a year. 364? What about the other day? Mm, that day I'm a pirate. Okay. And what about leap year? Fuck leap year! All right. Okay. 
Um, so is there a significant other in your life? Oh, oh, no, no. I'm a single man in the city, and I'm sitting pretty. That's good. That's good. It's actually best if the female fans think that you're single, so it helps if you actually are single. But there is this one chick that I have my eye on. I loved her the first time I ever saw her, and then I hated her, and then I fell in love with her all over again. Oh, but don't you worry. I hate her right now, and I'm absolutely, positively, 100% sure that I won't be falling in love with her again anytime soon. I can guarantee you that. What's her name? Annie. Danny and Annie. <laughs> Don't that sound good? <laughs> Danny and Annie. 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 <sighs> I knew that she was out there. And I knew that she was with him. Hmm. And I knew that he was doing everything that he could, pulling out every trick in the book to make her his. <sighs> she should be mine. I'm such a loser. I deserve to die. <laughs> Kaboingle! Yeah, the, the, yeah, 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 yes, Professor? Kaboingle, if you want to be a technical engineer, you have to pay attention. We work with very dangerous equipment, Kaboingle, and if your mind is not focused, someone could get seriously hurt. Fine, fine, Professor. Now, what experiment were we discussing? We, uh, a new advance in energy distribution. Yes, there are so many wireless devices today. Your phone is wireless, so if it were possible to bypass the battery recharge and eliminate the wire from the electrical outlet and somehow transmit the energy directly through the air to the device. We are working on a way of doing just that. Transmitting energy through the air? Ja! That sounds impossible, Professor. Ah, Kabwingle. Nothing is impossible in science. In science, there is only the highly improbable. Well, it sounds highly improbable. Professor, let's go to the particle accelerator, shall we? Okay, here I will put a mouse. Then we will transmit the energy through the air from one side of the chamber to the other. What's the mouse for? Well, we need to see if the energy transmission through the air is safe. After we transmit the power, you will dissect the mouse and see if there was any significant cellular or tissue damage. What? I, I won't do it. What? Why not? I'm not going to kill that poor innocent mouse for your crazy experiment. Why, Kabungle, I thought you wanted to be a scientist. We scientists sacrifice specimens in experiments every day. Here, watch this. <laughs> <gasps> now, go put the mouse in the cage or you're expelled. <laughs> Don't worry. You probably won't have to kill the mouse yourself anyway. Oh, I won't? No, 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 dear boy. The energy traveling through the air will most likely kill it. It has for all the others. <laughs> the last mouse I used was instantly vaporized. <laughs> Oh.
Okay, then I give you the all clear. Pull that switch, and it will send the power coursing through the air in the accelerator. Okay, one last check before we start. Okay, energy antennas are angled correctly. The dish is focused. And the test subject is... What? Wait a minute! There's a test subject! The test subject is gone! You little shit! I will see that you are expelled! Okay, okay, I'll put the mouse back in. No! I'll do it! You just sit there and don't touch anything! Don't move! Don't say a single word! We'll conduct this experiment, and then we will go up to the dean's office, and I will have your stupid ass thrown out of this college! You are the most unprofessional student I have ever encountered! <gasps> that bastard had just gotten on my last nerve. My career as a scientist was over. My college education was over. My whole life was over. And it was all because of this asshole. First Annie, and now this. There are times in your life when you ask yourself, are you a man or are you a mouse? I don't know what I'd do if I were a man, but I sure did know what I'd do if I were a mouse. No! Kaboingle! No! really done it. I... I killed him. <sighs> I guess we'll have to postpone that meeting with the Dean, huh, Professor? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you've, you've turned into a living electric outline of yourself. Why can't you move? I see. Somehow you've you've merged with the metal on the wall. And since your vocal cords are made out of electricity now and not flesh, I guess you can't exactly duplicate the frequencies for audible speech, right? Shut up! You don't know anything! Shut up! If you were really so smart, you wouldn't be in this position now, would you? Stupid! Shut up, you bastard! Shut up! You were gonna make me kill that mouse! That's how this all got started! Shut up! That was...
was a great rehearsal that we had today, mate. Take a flyer. Let's toss back a pint at the pub. What say, eh? Take a flyer. Take a flyer. Alcohol liquor is just an evil spirit in a bottle. Give your life over to God. It's so much more fun than any sort of dancing ever could be. Who says then? My church is having a potluck social, and it's much better than the kind of entertainment that they offer at this place. Hey, if this place is so bad, why are you here, Anne? Why ain't you at your church right now, huh? Well, to convert sinners, you need to go where the sinners are. Eh, you got a point. Yes, I have a point. I have more than a point. I have a flyer, too. Now, please, take one and join us at our church potluck dinner. Huh, potluck dinner. Oh, well, I like pot and I like dinner. So I guess I'm in luck, eh? Eh, <laughs> it's a joke. Are you talking about drugs? We don't smoke drugs. This is not about doing pot. It's about having dinner and commiserating with our Lord and the people that we love. The, I mean, the, our friends and our family. I'm taking back your flyer. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait I come along, eh? No! I think that there are a few other souls that need saving before yours. So I'm rescinding your invitation. Rescinding me invitation? I thought you were taking back me flyer. What? Oh, oh, go away, you awful, awful man! <laughs> that bird's mad. Where am I? What, what happened? Uh, uh, I can't think. Oh. 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 What's that noise? What is it? Who's there? Oh. Oh. Oh, I can barely see. What's going on? Hold it right there, son. FBI, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Do you know a Dr. Emil P. Florden Hoarder? Let him go! What has happened to me? What did I do? Oh, what will they do to me for that? Uh, I know exactly what they're gonna do to me. Nothing. No one will mess with me again. Now that the power's in my hands, no one will make me cry, no one will wonder why, no one will mess with me again, no one will make me out the fool. No one will splash me at the pool. No one will give me a wedgie. No one will mess with me again.
No more purple nurples, no more Indian burns, no more hunting snipes or me as if I'd ever learn. No more dunking in the pond, no more swirlies in the john. After class, I'll take a pass on my kicked ass. No one will mess with me again dun, dun, dun. Now that the power's in my hand dun, dun, dun. No one will make me cry No one will wonder why No one will mess with me again No woman will dare to turn me down <laughs> Or oh, laugh at me like I'm some stupid clown. <laughs> they will smile and treat me good like I told them that they would. No one will mess with me or keep me from being free. No one will mess with me again. I'm gonna show her who's defenseless. And I'm gonna show that punk who's Boss, and if I can't have her, no one will. Uh. Ready, mates? We got a lot of rehearsing to do before the battle of the bands. Sure, she set up her mm. equipment. <sighs> <Huh>? <laughs> Oh, fuck! The potluck dinner! Uh, huh? Oh. Uh, uh, hi. Um, hey, fellas, um, what say we uh, skip this rehearsal? We're, we're doing all right. We're, we'll rehearse again tomorrow. What say, um, I'm gonna go to a potluck dinner. Um, eh. Anybody got any pot? Uh, hey man, this battle of the bands is your gig, and either we rehearse now or I'm out of the battle. Yeah, we either rehearse now or I'm out of the band. Yeah, either we rehearse now or I'm gonna kill myself, and then I'll be out of the band and the battle. Oh, uh huh. All right, let's rehearse. One, two, three, four.
this shit. We're still doing this show, but I got a split. Father, uh, I ain't ever been in church, so, except for my, uh, weddings, and, um, maybe, uh, three, four, five, six funerals, and, um, a few times at camp, and at Christmas, and at Easter, and every Saturday, and... Twice every Sunday. But other than that, I, I ain't ever been in church. So, I don't know much about this or, or what I'm supposed to do. But I do know that I love this bird. She's so different and she's so sweet. And she likes making other people do stuff and live the way she thinks that they should and there's something about that that's just damn 
Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Father. I, I know you're, uh, you're probably not supposed to swear in church, but... But fuck! She is one hot-ass chicky licky! Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Father? Hello, Father? Aye! Hey, uh, there's no priest in this booth. Hey, I want me money back. Uh, oh well. All right, blokes. After a long night of shots, shooters, whippets, and hooters, I came to the decision that punk rock is all played out. What? We're gonna go in a new direction. From now on, we're gonna be playing a different genre of music. We are? Yeah. What are we gonna play? Christian music. Christian music? Yeah! That's not punk. No, it's Christian music! No, what I mean is it's not the punk rock style, man! Sure it is! It is? Yeah! How do you figure? Well, look at it this way. We're a punk rock band, right? Right! And we're playing for punk rock audiences. Right? Yeah. And they want to hear punk rock music. Right? Right. Well, fuck them! What could be more punk rock than a punk rock band playing non-punk rock music for punk rock music fans? Oh, he's got a point. Yeah, I got a point. I got more than a point. I got a song, too. Uh, acoustic guitar? That's bullshit, man. Fuck you! Now sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen to me fucking Christian music, you fucking gits. This is some kick-ass shit. <clears throat> I love, love you, little plastic Jesus, I love, love you, my good buddy Christ, I love, love you, little plastic Jesus, I love, love you. Little plastic Jesus on the dash You pray too slow while I move too fast You gotta save my song Then pay the toll Freezing like a dog out in the rain That kind of love and drive a man insane Come go, go, go Rock and roll Take my heart and switch it to overload And if you break my heart I'm going to explode In the middle of the edge of the night Burning my mojo just to make it all right You gotta load my ball And pack it full You got left, right, left, right, yeah So step back and give me a beer And make it cold And check for mold Now I'm gonna shoot you with my gun Right in the back just for fun and fashion on the scene a yellow limousine will turn your friends green Who pull off my words? They flew away like birds Oh, when will I learn that I can't have you When I learn how to beat Kobayashi Maru You're gonna bust my balls And dance up walls Riding into the sunset once again And away from you, my only friend Crying out into the night 
nothing's ever gonna be alright Like they say in those love songs They wouldn't write them if things weren't wrong Jesus, I love, love you. My good buddy Christ, I love, love you. Little plastic Jesus, I love, love you. When? Hello? Hello, Ryan! You're calling about the World Battle of the World Bands? Wait, wait, you're breaking up on me, wait. Why do I always get such shit reception here? Hold on, hold on. Alright. Hey, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, okay. The live broadcast, yeah, we'll be there. I think you'll be very happy with our new material, eh? <laughs> yeah, okay, September 19th. Great, I'm looking forward to it. We'll be there. Yeah, bye. We have to be there on September 19th and we'll... We'll... Oh, oh, no... No! Danny, what's wrong? September 19th? No! No! Not September 19th! No! 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 Should we be worried? I think so. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! What are you doing? Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Am I man enough for you now? That wasn't a big enough jolt to kill you, but just enough to shut you up. <laughs> and a very good job of it, it did. <laughs> now I'm gonna make you mine the way it was meant to be all along. <laughs> Bloody hell! Ooh. No. Annie! September 19th! Annie! September 19th! September 19th! September 19th! Annie! Annie! I can't believe it. My girl was in the arms of another man. I guess she's gone for good. Oh, uh, she wasn't for the likes of me anyways. She could do a lot better. What in the world am I gonna do now? Oh. Oh. 
now I'm gonna make you mine. <laughs> At last! Just like I told you that it should be. <laughs> oh, get away! What? What? What's going on? Run! Run! I'll find you! I'll find you and I'll get you! And your little boyfriend too! Good evening and welcome to World Vision's World Battle of the World Band. I'm Ryan, and I'll be your host, and tonight is the big finale. Let the battle begin! Hey, it's almost time for us to go on. Where's Danny? We don't know. We've been looking for him all day. I saw him early this morning. I didn't get to talk to him, but I thought that he'd be here and ready to go by now. Yeah, something's wrong. This is definitely not like him to be late for something like this. Please, 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 you've got to help me. You, you're, you're Danny's friends, right? Yeah, what's wrong? Come, come quickly. You've got to come quickly. I, I, I don't know what's wrong. I, it's, it's Danny. I can't understand him. Please, please, you've got to help. What? Wait a minute. Slow down, slow down. What are you talking about? Danny! I'm talking about Danny! There's something seriously wrong with him. He, he, he's talking, but I can't understand a word he's saying. Oh, uh, don't don't worry, don't me. worry. We will help him. We'll help him. Where is he? he? He's right over here. He's right over here. Hurry, hurry, please. Thank you very much. It's an exciting night tonight. People all over the globe are watching and enjoying some of the greatest songs ever written. Let's bring on our next performers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fuzzy Bunny! Great 
stuff, fellas. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, the show is nearing its epic conclusion. How will it turn out? Stay tuned for the Hateful Lovers coming up right after this. Oh my God! No, no, not now. Not now! What's wrong? What's wrong with him? September 19th, of course. No wonder he was so upset. Why? Why? What, what are you talking about? September 19th. Today, it's... It's talk like a pirate day. No! Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next band is a big favorite. Please give a warm welcome to the Sexy Celebrity. Oh, who wants sex with Mrs. Roper? No one else but Mr. Haney. She's been busy with a chauffeur. Who's been driving? Miss Daisy. Who's been porking Homer Simpson? Who's been banging Livia Soprano? Who's got a thing for Merv Griffin? And everyone loves Ray Romano. Everyone loves Raymond at seven and eleven. Second verse different from the first. Who wants sex with Rue McClanahan? No one but George Goober Lindsay. She's been busy screwing Cartman and Will and Grace and Mork and Mindy. All in bed with Wheezy Jefferson. Who's been boing King John Belushi? Who's got his hand up Jim Henson? And everyone watches as I love Lucy. Lucille Balls. If my name were Nicholas, she'd be on Nick at night. Wow, thank you. An amazing tune from an amazing band. The Hateful Lovers will be here coming up right after this short break, so please don't go away. Danny, snap out of it, man. We're about to go on. Yeah, we we have to get ready if we're going to go play live in front of five billion people. Avast, me hearty. Oh, I just don't understand what's wrong with him. It's talk like a pirate day. Yeah. It's Danny's favorite holiday. Yeah. Other than Christmas and Easter and his birthday and New Year's Eve and Halloween and Cinco de Mayo and the 4th of July and St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. In the summer solstice, and Secretary's Day, and National Night Shift Workers' Day, it's the only holiday that he celebrates. Oh, how sad! Oh, I don't understand. Please, please, Danny, you've got to set aside talk like a pirate day. J- just this one year, please. Arr, I'll kill all ya, ya oh. landlubber. Oh, please, Danny, please. I, I don't want to beg you, but but I am. I'm begging you. Please, please, Danny. You've, you've shown me so much. You've shown me a world outside of a 
world that I had been trapped in and I didn't even know it. Now, now I see so much more than, than what, what, what was there for me then. It's all about you and your love. I, I love you, Danny Ramone. Let's get this show on the road. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, come on. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yes. Yeah. Welcome back. There are only two bands left to perform for you. What will happen now? Next up, all the way from Pluto, please welcome the Native Aliens. <laughs> Hello, Earth! Hey, how we doing out there? We are the Native Aliens! Yeah! Are you ready to rock? Well, we're not. We're going to play a ballad. Aww. Silence! The ballad that we are going to play is called The Saddest Ballad in the Universe. Yes, and it is indeed the saddest ballad in the universe. So, please, do not laugh at it. Mm. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. After the show, we're going to destroy your planet. Just thought you should know. There's a midget monkey in a dress And he just got hit in the nuts With a rubber chicken And as he fell down The crowd laughed And there was no sound The sound that broke the silence apart The only sound was a fart Native aliens, there they are. 
Yeah, there's just one more act to go, so don't go away. We'll be right back after these words. Thank you. Good boy and go. Good boy and go. I fancy that we got ourselves a little score to settle, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you saved us from that monster. Yeah, that was pretty scary, man. Let's get on that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a world to rock. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here they are. The final act of the world battle of the world bands. After this, it's all over. And if we believe the aliens, it really is all over. So, what's going to happen next? Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Hateful Lovers! All right, we're the Hateful Lovers. Now, here's a song that I wrote for the woman I love. Because she been... Lost. And so have I. Lost in your eyes like a child in the field Running wild all the time and all the way No one else was around But we found town along the way But we got lost We got lost Lost down the street, down the corner, down the block Till we found nothing, no one else around Lost in the woods, near the beach, out to sea Till we found nothing, no one else around Here you are, who you have, if you live, and if you've got what you want I don't know how that feels, what I feel and what I say Lost in the woods near the beach, out to sea till we found nothing, no one else around. results for you in a few short minutes. We will finally be announcing the winner of the World Battle of the World Bands right after this break. Don't go away! (laughs) 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 We are the greatest 
punk rock band in the world. Yeah, yes. that was really cool. Yeah. Amazing, dude. I knew that you could do it. I'm sure that you're going to win. Hey, what do you say, baby? Did you like my song? <laughs> I loved it. Look out! <gasps> Where is the communicator? Your time is up. We demand the communicator. What? What the hell are you two bloody wankers jabbering on about? Silence, Earthman! After the announcement of the winner, we will destroy your planet. What? Why? Silence! We're not falling for that again! The time for talk and song and dance is over! Look out! Ooh. Wait! Don't shoot! It's me, Dr. Dr. Emil P. Lord in order. What? The communicator. Yes. yes. But what happened to you? Why did you cease transmitting the broadcast? I was transformed into a being of pure energy. But I've been trapped in this body for some time now. I've been under his control. But now that he's been knocked unconscious, I seem to have been able to take control of his body and use it to speak with you now. Well, we're glad to know you still exist, communicator. Yes, we have a gift for you aboard our ship. And we wanted to give it to you today. Because we knew that it was your birthday. Oh, uh, you, you remember. remember. Happy birthday, communicator. Happy, happy birthday, communicator. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Wait a minute. I think they're coming back from commercial. It's almost time to find out who won. Yeah! Well, the results are in. The winner of the World Battle of the World Bands. It's unanimous. The Hateful Lovers! <laughs> We did it! We did it! Yay! Congratulations! Great job! So, does this mean that you're not gonna destroy the world now? No! Of course not! All we wanted to do was give the communicator his birthday present. That's all we wanted to do. Hey, uh, should we give him the present here or up on the ship? Uh... Let's give it to him here so that everybody can see it. But I left it on the ship. Well, let's go back up to the ship and get it. Hey, you two. Want to go up with us to see the spaceship while we grab the communicator's present? Hmm? Mm hmm. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Oh no, Kaboinga, he's waking up! Oh, what's going on? Uh, must destroy world! Professor, 
You actually can transmit energy through the air. It still kills everyone, though. The power surged across the planet, through every computer, television, and radio. It also triggered nuclear arsenals all around the world, detonating every explosive device that existed. The devastation was immediate and utterly complete. The only thing that I didn't know is that this power surge to the end of the planet met itself and reflected back toward me, actually building up force through the planet's natural magnetic field. As I saw this tremendous surge of electricity bearing back down upon me, I had one last thought to think to myself. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. has been killed! What? Everything on Earth has been destroyed! Oh, oh no! I, 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 I can't believe it! Oh, oh, what do we do now? Where will we go? Well, we could take you back to our planet, but uh, living conditions there may not be as hospitable as you might like. I don't want to go live on some crazy alien planet for the rest of me life. Oh, Danny, I want to go back to Earth. Could we? Well, let's see if we can adjust the radioactive levels on the planet so that you'll be able to survive. Radiation levels are now normal. Okay, that should do it. Are you sure that you want to go back? Oh, I do. Our world needs a new Adam and Eve. Well, before you go, please accept this. We were going to give this to the communicator so that he no longer had to use his primitive technology to send us new music. You see, this guitar will transmit the music directly to our planet. We request only that you write us some new punk rock songs. Sure! And if you should ever need any help, just play help on the guitar, and we'll come help. Oh, thanks, mates. You blokes are the best. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Hey, sorry that everybody on your planet got killed. See ya, guys. Wanted to be one and one will make three. Love is setting us free. We're anonymous celebrities.